Qatar Hospitality was established in 1970. It was a private company. Then it was shifted to the government company in 1976. It was called Qatar National Hotels. The word Qatar came from originally the old names or the old maps of the region, where lots of different names were given to the peninsula of Qatar. One of them was Qatara, Li Qatara, Jitar, Qatar. And I think this is where the name Qatara came from. Fifty-three years ago, when I was born, at that time, Qatar in general, let's say, speak of Doha, I mean, was mostly a desert. And I remember, and maybe most of you also remember this image of just the Sheraton in the middle of the desert. I remember when I came, I went to see the hotel. It was a steel structure, and everybody said, it's crazy so far out of Doha but uh, now it's in the middle of the When Qatar Hospitality first started, it had maybe you know, one asset. Since then, it evolved in terms of having a number of different assets within Qatar. And over the last few years, you know, in a very rapid time, we became a global player with many iconic hotels under our management or under our ownership. The company is unique because of the geographic breadth of the hotels that we have. And that geographic footprint will, will spread. Our, I think our expertise lies in taking iconic properties um, and with the backing of our shareholder company and the government, redevelop those to bring them back to their former glory. Whenever you come to any of our hotels, wherever you are in the world, there's still that, that common thread uh, of you know, you're walking into a familiar place. You're walking into a comfortable place. Having a guest in isn't a burden in Qatar, it's a privilege, and that's something we hold pride on. I'm always proud that Qatar Hospitality is number one in rooms in MENA. It's number 25 worldwide. And in terms of revenue, we are number one as well in MENA. And number 14 worldwide. I put the success of Qatar Hospitality down to teamwork and, and teamwork at every level. And that means from the very highest level, from the support of the very highest levels of the Qatari government, to our, uh, our shareholder company, which is QIA, uh, to the team that we have developed over the last 50 years. It's critical to our success, that, that element of, of being a very close team. Uh, we have a very good Qataris uh, candidate now. They can actually be some leaders in the future. Today, the Capital aspect is not the most important thing. Uh, always I say the expertise. Without the expertise, you cannot invest, plus a good timing of the investment, because the timing is very important for any investor. The relationship between Qatar Hospitality and QIA is very key. We have certain uh, strategy, certain objectives that we really want from Qatar. Uh, the immediate future between now and uh, the World Cup. Obviously our focus uh, is to ensure that we deliver a great hospitality product, support the efforts of the Qatari government uh, in hosting this world event. Uh, and making it a, an unqualified success. The 
World Cup is the biggest event in the world, uh, but there are other events that will be coming to play, the Asian Games, the uh, Asian Cup and so on, and there is discussions about potentially uh, the, the Olympics as well. The approach that we will take, as we're taking it right now with the World Cup, is that Qatar Hospitality is a partner, is a foundational partner in ensuring the success of these events. And through the success, hopefully it will be a virtuous circle. And then we will expand the nature of the events that will be coming from just being sports, purely sports, to sports and entertainment. In His Highness Vision 2030, one of the most uh, important element is the tourism aspect. And uh, the state of Qatar is betting on this industry. Uh, we know uh, that the oil and gas will not remain uh, or sustain the state of Qatar uh, for a long time. And uh, we are here in Qatar Hospitality. We are building our strategy how this industry can be improved. In 2000, we were having around 4,000 rooms. Today, we are almost 25 and something thousand rooms. It's a huge incremental percentage. We are having um, a huge plan to have almost 60 hotels by 2030. Now we are 42 hotels. But always I'm saying that our product has to be unique. One of which is the iconic Lucille Twin Towers. This is going to be an icon for the country itself and even a beacon for the hospitality industry as a whole as the standards that we are providing in these hotels and the new variety of products in it is going to be something else that people didn't experience or live before. You know, as a state, the state of Qatar has always gone through challenges and at the end of those challenges has always come out stronger. Um, I think, you know, we, we, we take a, a page from the country's playbook and we try to apply it and I think we've applied it very successfully. This is a company with great assets, uh, this is a company with uh, great leadership, and this is a company with a great narrative and story to tell. Qatar hospitality will never stop expanding.